Stats Canada has released its latest hate crime statistics, and the local numbers are troubling. The number of hate crimes in Thunder Bay has doubled from 2019 to 2020, and the city now has the fifth highest rate in the country. Lee Noonan has the story. The city of Thunder Bay saw 1.1 hate crimes per 100,000 people reported to the police in 2020. That's double the year before, but still lower than in 2015 and 17 when they were the highest in the country. These numbers reflect reports made to police, and the actual number of incidents is assumed to be higher. Incidents like the homophobic letter sent to the owners of Bay Village Coffee are examples of hate-based crimes. The Thunder Bay Police Service's community inclusion team tracks hate-related incidents and can connect affected people with resources, such as victim services. Constable Bob Simon says the rate of reporting has a significant impact on trends in hate crime numbers and encourages the public to report hate-related incidents whether or not they believe a crime has occurred. At least we have it documented and it may be easier to track down this uh, suspect um, if it progresses to something uh, more criminal such as assault or assault uh, with a weapon uh, if they're throwing something. He recommends asking for the community inclusion team specifically when making a report. Jason Veltri, chair of the Anti-Racism and Respect Advisory Committee, says that no one should be shocked to hear these numbers. The committee's 211 Racism Reporting Hotline has shown increasing rates of racially motivated hate crimes and discrimination in recent years. He says the statistics are important to inform the work of governments and organizations. We have to be present, we have to be vocal, and we have to call out racism and hate and discrimination when it happens. And we can't be afraid to have tough and real conversations with folks. That's, that's really the, the hardest part about breaking down barriers is that when we feel uncomfortable, we have to have those uncomfortable conversations. Deputy Grand Chief of NAN, Annabetty Etchnipineskim, says Indigenous people are likely victims of a high number of those hate crimes. We hear about a lot of incidents, um, and I do believe that a lot of people are still um, hesitating to report these types of crimes. And um, so I, I believe that uh, that particular number is, um, is underrepresented in terms of, um, of hate crimes. Lee Noonan, TBT News.